Welcome back to GB Guns. We've got the Lynx 12 3 gun version in from SDS Imports coming up next. Some of you might be wondering where's the charging handle? Well, this one doesn't have one. You have to dig your finger, you put your fingernail on this hook right here and push really hard. I find it's better with a screwdriver so you don't lose a fingernail. No, I'm just kidding. It's a left side charger for all the folks that prefer it that way. I definitely understand and appreciate the advantages of left side chargers. Now the gun is a bit dirty. That's because it's not brand new out of the box. Dirty secret, I've already taken it out and shot it. I couldn't resist. It arrived right before a chance when Maddie and I were going to head out to the woods where we do all our shotgun stuff. So it went with us. But pretend that hasn't happened. This is the tabletop. We're going to do a uh, overview of the gun and take a look at its features. So to start, the Lynx 12 is based on the Saga 12, meaning that it's an AK in 12 gauge. Runs on Saga 12 mags. SDS Imports also has their own US made mags. It's the rock and lock style with the squeeze to release powder release on the back. You'll see in the shooting impressions other magazines that work and don't work depending on what you try. Trunnion does have some reinforcement here. You can see we've got a standard AK stock, nice firm butt plate, but uh, it takes AK furniture so all of the aftermarket AK stuff out there will fit. Same thing with the pistol grip. If you like it skinny and classic you can keep it that way. There's also several several aftermarket options for the pistol grips. Moving on to the safety, we've got an extended safety. This is so that you can flip it with your trigger finger. If I can arrange my hand through the camera and all that. Up and down like that without having to do the big reach sweep which a lot of people complain about. And you notice it's nice and easy to flip and it's also not snagging up top. I thought that was a really nice upgrade. You see this little divot here? That helps keep the safety from getting caught up. I don't know if any of you AKers have ever experienced that, but I have, and it's really frustrating. What happens is the little divot that provides the, re the resistance and holds things in place gets stuck above the top end of the receiver, and then you can't get it down. So this one, that's not an issue at all. We have a hinged top cover with the dual lock system where you've got the pin that has to be depressed before you can push the spring in to open it up. The top cover has a little bit of play to it, not a ton, but you know this is not a uh, long range precision rifle, this is a shotgun. So you're going to put a red dot on there that's probably 5mm anyways, uh, or something similar. I'm not too worried about any play that's happening there. Now we do have standard iron sights with a very short sight radius <laughs> right up front. Um, you can use those as a primary or backup, of course, if you're going to mount some optic on there. Gas tube, and we do have a four position adjustable gas block here. There's a detent you push in, and the end is marked. Go into the end of the barrel, it is threaded. We'll take all of the Saga chokes, brakes, etc., um, that you want to put on there, will fit. Also, has a sling swivel on the bottom, very small one, albeit and sling swivel on the left side of this classic AK style stock. Now the left side charging is advantageous when you want to keep your hand, your shooting hand, in the shooting position. Some people prefer that method, some don't. It's an optional thing. SDS Imports is simply providing you that option. Do want to mention though, this does have bolt hold open to make loading it easier. There's a tab just under here. With that held up, pull the bolt back and it locks the bolt to the rear for you. Nice and open. You can see that the dust cover is cleared wide and high along with this lowering cut here to help make sure that those shells get out of there reliably no matter what. Pull back and release to send the bolt home. I also want to show you how smooth that action is. You don't have that typical hump. There's a little pause there as you go over the hammer, of course, but it's smooth. 
have already shot this have a couple hundred rounds through it, but it was that smooth from the get-go. And uh, I'll show you why when we take a look inside the gun. So field stripping the Lynx 12 3G with 3-gun isn't much different from any other AK if you're familiar with them. Push down on this raised button here and in on the recoil assembly to clear the dust cover. Dust cover swings up and away. It is pinned. That's a very nice feature. We can see on our recoil system that we do have one of those rubber bumpers. Those help protect the trunnion and the bolt carrier in case of overgas or if you're running a heavy load without adjusting the gas system. That can help there. It can also soften some of the recoil. Most of the recoil in firearms, even in 12 gauge, is from the action cycling. When the action hits the end of the stroke on the back end here, that thump is what you feel more so than the round detonating. To remove the recoil assembly, we're going to push forward, up, it comes out. You can see that this extra shield here rides over, helps to keep things clean since the uh, ejection port has to be extra large for 12 gauge. Pull the bolt and carrier to the rear and it pops up and out. And we can see our gas piston and bolt. Do you want to mention that the uh, bolt carrier and bolts are both serialized, matched to each other, which is nice, especially since AKs uh, rely on headspace being set up at the factory, not uh, off of the cartridge like an AK does. You can see we do have some wear on the rear sections here from our shooting. If you want to know just what we shot, you can see that in the shooting impressions video. It's also a nice smoothened spot here. That's where it makes contact with the hammer. That's part of what makes charging it and cycling it smooth. And then if we look at the hammer, we can see that it's also got a bit of a smoothing job to it, which makes for a much smoother cycling and more reliable system when you don't have to worry about a soft load getting killed by the energy it takes to uh, run over that hammer. That's all there is to the basic AK. I mean, it's AKs are easy. Want to pull the bolt out of the carrier? You can do that. The uh, firing pin is spring-loaded. I can't push it far enough to make it protrude. That's an extra safety to prevent slam fire, which is probably a good thing, you know, with any firearm, especially when you're dealing with 12 gauge. We're going to get everything lined up so those rails are even across there before sliding them back in with the carrier in the rear and the bolt nudged forward just a bit. We can push down, find our rails, send the bolt home. We're going to reinsert our recoil assembly. Make sure that little rubber bit gets down in there. The lifespan of these rubber bits is going to depend on the loads you're shooting and your gas setting. So I can't give you an estimate there. I've never had one wear out. You always hear internet stories about it, and yet I've never seen one or experienced it. Um, can't tell you there. Can tell you though, there, there are plenty of aftermarket options out there, and that's a cheap part. Uh, and considering how affordable SDS Imports makes these, um, I'm pretty stoked. Comes with the five round mags. They have 10 rounders of their own. And of course you can get 10 rounders from a bunch of other companies. If it fits a Saiga, it's likely going to fit this without any issue, including your drums. Pretty cool. That is the Lynx 12 3 gun from SDS Imports. Watch for our shooting impressions video to see how it performs out on the range. Thanks for watching.